What's up everybody and welcome back to another COD Zombies tier maker list video. Today we are doing COD Zombies perks, if you couldn't tell by the by the neon colours of symbols that we have here, for the icons of zombies itself. We did maps and we've done wonder weapons and now it's time for the next cornerstone of zombies itself. We have perks. We're going to go in order of when they were conceived on what game they were on and also discuss what variants do what. For example, like, there's two versions of Deadshot on here, but I don't know why there should be two versions of Quick Revive on here or Stamina Up on here. Definitely Quick Revive at the very least because, um, and obviously we're not counting Cold War for some reason. I guess the only new Cold War perk that's really on here or should be on here is um, Elemental Pop, but I guess we could count this question mark as being Elemental Pop even though it's not pink or whatever. We can just we can have that can be the placeholder for elemental pop. Uh, we won't be including the yellow uh, dead shot daiquiri here though. We will just be including the black version because the version in Black Ops Four versus Black Ops One is the exact same pretty much. I don't think there are any differences. Um, and we will be taking into consideration the Black Ops uh, Black Ops Cold War version of those perks. For example, the the uh, dead shot on Cold War is miles better than the dead shot in any other game. Same with uh, like how different Crook Revive is in Cold War com in comparison to anything else. So, with that in mind, let's go through and discuss every single COD Zombies perk within reason. Uh, we won't be including any other weird non Treyarch ones like. Um, like uh, like the like the exo health or the whatever else there is, um, but yeah, let's go through. So quick revive. There are lots of different versions of quick revive. The world at war quick revive it gets a D, but if it's a Black Ops one through three quick revive it gets an A. I think considering in Black Ops four it gets nerfed again, and in Cold War it continues to say the same type of ability as in black black ops 4 and cold war very very similar to each other black ops 1 is the most world at war is the most useful quick revive the most useful one is obviously the ones that give you that solo revive on black ops 1 through 3 i think with that logic i'm going to give it a b because it gives you this regen health effect i think in cold war and in black ops 4 so it does have its merits um beyond just reviving you on solo in earlier games um so for that reason, Quick Revive gets that, but just based on everything we know about it, it can't get higher than that. because I mean, it's cheap as well, regardless which version you get. Um, obviously, the cheapest version is the solo version for some reason. But yeah, next we have Juggernog. Straight S. If it's not in S, then all of these perks get lower than S. They, they, none of this, this tier shouldn't exist if it doesn't, if it doesn't get S. Uh, yeah, if this doesn't go in S, none of them go in S. So, Jug is just goated. It is goated. It's the most effective perk. It's the most reliable perk. It's the most crutchest of crutch perks. Um, there's not really much I'll say about it, really, besides that. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, I think that's all I have to say about Jug. It's self-explanatory, really. The fact it was taken out of Black Ops 4 is a cardinal sin, if you ask me. But, yeah. All right, now we have Speed Cola. I'm giving this an A. Um... Over the years, people have appreciated this perk less and less. I, it's not really fair on this perk to do that. Um, uh, it got removed from Black Ops 4, much like Jug did, which shows how good of a perk it is. If it gets rem if, a, if, a, if a perk gets rem rem removed from Black Ops 4, it shows it's a good perk in my book. So, there you go. Um, yeah, so... Speed Cola is, is uh, it used to give you a speed boost of, of running and sprinting as well, but they slowly got rid of that with the more people liked stamina up, people got rid of that effect on Speed Cola. Speed Cola in World at War and Black Ops 1 is goated. Absolutely fucking goated. If we're just counting it based on those games, speed is an easy S tier, but considering um, reloading guns isn't as much a necessity nowadays as it was when the strongest weapon in zombies in Black Ops 1 and World of War were the LMGs. Um, just shows that Speed Cola... People have outgrown Speed Cola a tiny bit when it comes to what people play zombies for. But it's still a great perk. I think it's very underappreciated even now. Now we have Double Tap 1. This is not the Double Tap 2.0 which we get in Black Ops 2. That comes later. This gets a D. Um... It literally just burns through your ammo faster. It just shoots your bullets twice as fast. Sure, it kills zombies faster in turn, but it also drains your ammo faster, which is not what you want. 
on uh, on a on on a game because this, this perk is only in Black Ops One and World at War, and in those games, it's very casual heavy. Most maps are played casually, and you are relying on your bullet guns. And the faster your bullet guns empty, the more useless they are. Which means this perk is effectively obsolete and useless, and no one cares with it anymore. Especially since it's been replaced by the uh, 2.0 version later on in later games. All right, PhD Flopper. I'm giving this an A or an S. Um, I'll give it an S. Go on. It gives you, it negates full full damage, it, it, explosive damage, and the dolphin dive effect. It is a brilliant perk. It is so many different features to it that makes it cool. It's just the amount of stuff you can do with it that I appreciate about it. PhD is a very underrated perk. People don't talk about it anymore just because. Treyarch retconned it from Black Ops 2 for some reason, and then in Black Ops 3 there was no need for a flopper perk. So, it's a great perk. I love I love PhD. Very underappreciated. Another underappreciated perk, Stamina Up. It is fucking brilliant. Especially nowadays, when the primary goal of zombies is to stay mobile and run away from the zombies, whether that being training or speed running, an easter egg or something. Stamina Up is a necessity for maps with mud as well. More maps nowadays are coming out with, with mud features, so like Origins and that. So uh, this perk is just very underrated, and I think Stamina Up does deserve S. Um, and I don't know why people don't love it, but it's an amazing perk. All right, Deadshot Daiquiri. Um, now there are loads of different variants of this perk. Um, the Black Ops One and Two version, and Black Ops Three actually. Black Ops One through Three version of this perk is trash. It is the most useless piece of shit in the world. Black Ops Four version is also garbage. Yeah, it is also garbage. Um, the only reason why it's getting a C is because of its Cold War version. Effectively, the Cold War version is just double tap though, so it is kind of cheating. But technically speaking, it is double tap in Cold War. Oh, so it just hurts me because I hate the dead shot because the dead shot in Cold War is not the dead shot I know. <laughs> it is just stolen all of the good features of double tap and taken it into its own, which is annoying if you ask me. Um, now we have Mule Kick. Um, it's useful on a very, very specific selection of maps. Um, it's good for maps where you've got an easter egg where you need a wonder weapon to pass it. So, Origins, it's useful. Very, In fact, Origins is the most useful map for Mule Kick. It's also useful on, like, Durais and Drag. It's also useful on Zetsubo no Shima, probably. On uh, Dead of the Night, it's very useful on that map, to be honest. Um, so, it's useful in that regard. But it's also fun to use if you're just playing a casual game because you just want to try out more of the weapons that are available, especially if you're in a custom map and you've got custom weapons in, you've ported in weapons from an earlier, from a different game. It is fun. It is a very useful perk for that. I, yeah, I think Mule Kick is a respectable perk. I used to hate on this perk a lot. I used to think that it's garbage and definitely if you're camping, it's not a good perk, but if you're a more skilled zombie player and you know how to use it, then it's fine. Um, it's a fine perk. It isn't winning any awards, but it's an average one, which is probably why it belongs in a B category. All right, now we have Double Tap 2. This gets either a top of A or bottom of S. I think, let me think about it here. So it doubles the damage and doubles the rate of fire, which means it kills the zombies three times as fast than it would without it, which makes it immediately better than Double Tap 2 by Double Tap, double tap 1 by a mile and a half. Um... Ooh. Besides that, it doesn't do anything else, but that is enough to warrant it being an A because it is a discount version of a pack a punch if you're buying this thing. Especially in Black Ops 1, or Black Ops 2, sorry, you can tell the difference in your gun. If you've got a hammer and then you buy Double Tap 2, you can tell the difference. It's night and day. It's like you've pack a punch the weapon when you buy the perk versus you don't buy the perk with the weapon. So for that reason, I think it gets an A. But the fact it doesn't have like a second cooler ability does kind of duck it a tiny bit of points. And the fact that they've cut it from Cold War does also dock it a tiny bit more points. Because if it was in Cold War, it would probably be an S. Because Cold War do do the yeah. Cold War does uh, fix perks by the looks of it when it comes to Deadshot and that. But 
as a caveat to that, it cuts other perks. All right. Now, we have some trash perks coming up. We have, uh, yeah, Tombstone. Terrible. Um, it basically incentivizes... It's only... The perk's only effect is actually useful when you die. That is the... That is the baseline of it. Like, the only time where this perk will ever be good for you is if you die. And perks are meant to help you not die, ideally. Right? Am I wrong? There you go. Then we have Who's Who, which, um, much like, uh, yeah, m much like uh, Tombstone, it's only, a f it's only effective if you die, and perks are meant to stop you from dying. Theoretically, it gives you infinite revives on the map it's on, on Die Rise. You can... You can revive yourself infinitely. You'd have to rely on quick revive to to survive past three deaths. But the perk incentivizes dying to use it. So um, I'll put it above Tombstone. But they are both bottom of the barrel when it comes to perks. As for right now in the series at least. We get to worse ones, don't you worry. Um, Alright, now we have Electric Cherry. I have a soft spot for this perk. I don't love it, but it is good. I'm going to put it... Uh, in ooh, I'll put it in. I'll put it. I'll put it. I'll put it here. No, no, I'll put it above Mule Kick. Um, also, Electric Burst is down here as well. The Electric Burst from Black Ops Four. I won't be including it because it's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's literally the exact same thing as Electric Cherry as Electric Burst is. They're both the exact fucking same perk. I think the only difference is, is the Electric Burst has the uh, modifier ability if you have it on your tonic. But besides that, it's the exact same thing, which is why I won't include it. I'll kind of merge them into one when it comes to ranking it. They are both like the very same thing, to be honest. So I won't be including Electric Burst, just like I won't be including Deadshot. Um, okay. Now, next we have Vulture's Aid. I love this perk. I am going to put it in S. I'm going to put it in S. I, this perk is fucking brilliant. I love this thing. It it helps that it's on one of my favorite maps of all time, Buried. It, it just helps. But as well as that, the amount of... Uh, what I love in a perk is how many features you can use. it. In fact, it's better than Stamina. In my opinion, better than Stamina. It is so good... I love it. The fact that you can use the mist to hide from zombies, it gives you extra ammo reserve, and it gives you extra points. Even though, like, Bandolier Bandit does the same thing later on, uh, fucking Vulture's Aid does it first. Vulture's Aid gives you the extra ammo reserve, and you have to go out and grab it when the zombies drop it on the ground when you kill them. It's great. It's so good. I, I love I love Vulture Aid. It's such a good perk. Anyway... All right, now we have uh, Widow's Wine, your mine. I'm going to put this one in S. Better than Stamina Up. Oh, this is tricky. Uh, mm, better than what Vulture's Aid. This hurts me, but I think it is. And better than PhD. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is better than PhD. The knife effect slows down zombies, the explosive grenades, the, the web grenades as in. Um, I think it is better. As well as that as a balanced perk as well, because if you don't know how to use it, then it will ruin training for you, because if, you, if you're running Vulture Aid and you're training, a zombie might swipe you from the side and then it will slow them down, slowing the whole horde down. But if you know how to use it, it... It, 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 it means that you are saved when you're cutting a corner and also helps with the knife when you're trying to point haul through an easter egg. If you're an experienced zombies player and you know how to use Vulture Aid, then it's one of uh, Widow's Wine, rather, then it's an amazing perk. But if you don't know how to use it, then it won't be as good. You won't have as much fun of a time using it, I'm afraid. But as it stands, Vulture Aid, uh, Widow's Wine, I'm getting my names mixed up here. But, uh, Widow's Wine is an amazing perk. So, there you go. Alright. Now, now we move on to the Black Ops 4 perks. Okay. Time slip. Alright, now, considering how cheap it is, okay, and also how convenient it is, I have to put it in A. Bottom of A, though. But, actually, no, that's a bit generous. No, top of B. Top of B. Above Quick Revive, though. Behind Quick Revive. 
hybrid. Yes, I like that because of how cheap it is as well, and also how convenient it is. Like, I it's just such a convenient perk. Um, the fact that it, it, you can hit the box and it, it's, and it grabs you the weapon twice as fast. Also, pack a punch as well. It's just. It's just really convenient perk, personally, and I have a soft spot for it. It helps that it is cheap as well. All right, Stone Cold Stronghold. Um, I don't like perks that incentivize standing still. Sorry. I'll stick it above Deadshot, though, because it is, technically speaking, a unique perk, and it does do a unique effect, whereas some of these other Black Ops 4 perks are just rip-offs of existing perks. Uh, Dying Wish. I will put this one... You see, part of me wants to just put it in A, but I have to admit it is a goated perk. I'll put it in the model of S. Because everybody runs Dying Wish. There's no one that doesn't run Dying Wish on Black Ops 4. You are a masochist if you don't run Dying Wish on Black Ops 4. Especially if you're going for a hardened difficulty rather than casual. Um, so, I have to put Dying Wish up here. Um... It is literally just when you get down to 1 HP, it gives you like a zombie blood of some description. So it is a good, it is a very good crutch perk, even though Black Ops 4 was like, let's get rid of crutch perks, guys. It creates a new crutch perk. Um, do I like it more than Stamina Up? I think I do. Do I like it more than Vulture Raid? No. I like Vulture Raid more than Dying Wish. Dying Wish is just a very basic perk. Blaze Phase! No, behind double tap one. That's not... Yeah, behind double tap... Wait, wait, wait. There you go. That's better. Yeah, not great. <laughs> Blaze phase is garbage. Uh, it's literally just if you crouch and then... And then skid... No, no, not even that. It's you crouch and then you shoot or something. I don't know what the, what the, te what the mechanics are for it. But something happens and it shoots you through zombies. And then there's the, the cooldown is hours long or something. It's ridiculous. It's a stupid perk. If they'd combined that effect into the modifier version of PhD Slider, we'd be talking very differently about it, wouldn't we? But Blaze Phase is just poo. Uh, Victorious Tortoise. Um, this perk also incentivizes camping, except this time with the shield instead of with weapons. Um, I'll give it... It's a better than strong, stone, stone Cold Stronghold, but no, I think C is fair. I'll put it in C. I don't, I don't love it too much, but I think it's it's with the shield. It's just it it uh, makes the shield stronger. I think is the main ability that people like about it. But I, the only people that like about it are the noobs that like to camp on Black Ops Four. Like the only people, like no one else camps on Black Ops Four. Honestly, it's honestly a bit sad to be honest. Um, all right, next up we have Zomb Shell. Um, in theory, it's a decent perk. It's a cool idea. But in practice, it's not that good. It's better than Victoria's Tortoise, though. I'll stick it here. Um, I don't love it, really. It's fine, I guess. It's all right. It's all right. It's there. It's, it's, it's just... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Top of C. It's better than those perks there. There you go. Blood Wolf Bite. I'm going to put this at the bottom. Honestly... The worst perk in the whole game. I hate it. It is so poo. Like, much like much like uh, Blaze Phase, it is terrible. Like, at least Blaze Phase, like, you can rely on it for yourself. Whereas this, the f fucking... Uh, the dog that you get to spawn in with this perk shows up whenever they fucking well please. And it's not reliable to kill zombies. And also, it just wastes the fact that the perk system as well only allows you to hold four perks just gives you no reason to ever run this perk, ever. It is actually dreadful. Alright, Bandler Bandit, a perk that's actually good. Um, I'm going to put this at the top of B, because it is very solid. It's solid if you've got a weapon that doesn't have too much ammo, but you is reliable. Um, what's a good example? Helian Salvo is a great example. The Helian Salvo definitely benefits from Bandler Bandit, because it gives you extra reserve ammo. Um, much like a Vulture Aid. It ripped off Vulture Aid, but it is still a good effect. It is a good ability, so yeah. Alright, PhD Slider. For the same reasons that I like PhD Flopper, I'm sticking it here. The only reason it's not at the top of A or an S is because it has the cooldown effect, which means you can't skid into zombies every time you skid. 
which I suppose would be too OP regardless, but keeping that in mind, it deserves A and not S for that particular reason. Cool. All right, now we have Winter's Whale, a worse version of Widow's Wine. Still good, though. I'll put this one above Speed Coder but behind Double Tap. I like that. That's a nice spot. Um, I think that... Yeah, it, it, the only thing that it doesn't have is the knife effect that Widow's Wine has. Um, but everything else about it is the exact same as Widow's Wine, which is why it's down a peg. But it's still it's still effective, and it's still decent, so there you go. All right, now we have Death Perception. Now, which version are we counting? Are we counting the Cold War version or the Black Ops 4 version? The Cold War version is technically good, because it's really just Vulture Aid. Death Perception in Cold War is literally just Vulture's Aid. So... The fact that I like Vulture Aid so much means I have to put it high. But at the same time, it is literally just... It's just a rip-off of Vulture Aid. It's sad. Because the Black Ops 4 version is garbage. It literally just shows you zombies through walls, which is only effective if you're doing speed runs on that game. Um, I'll give it... It's a good perk if you include the Cold War version, but it's not a great perk. Fuck it, I'll put it here. That's that's fair. I'll put it here. It's above it's above Quick Revive if you count the Cold War version, but on its own, it's all right, I suppose. All right, now we have Ethereal Razor. This one is just the melee perk, which is ugh, I don't know, I don't really care for it. Um. Is it better than Zombshell? No. Is it better than Victorious Tortoise? No. Is it better than Stone Cold Stronghold? No. Better than Deadshot. There you go. That's a fair spot for it. I like that placement, to be honest. And then we have the weird ones. We have Secret Source, which is literally just the Black Ops 4 version of the Wonder Fizz. Um, but you have to put it in one of your four perk slots, which is fine. I think it benefits more in Black Ops 4, and it isn't in any other zombie game. Um... But that's why I think it's cool. Um, I think I'm going to put it in C. I'll put it above Zombshell. There you go. That's fair. There you go. And then, oh, we'll do this question mark one will be the Elemental Pop. Because I don't know what else it's meant to be. Maybe it's meant to be the Wonder Fizz machine or something. But that's dumb because Elemental Pop is here. Oh, sorry. Um, fucking what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, secret Source is here. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Elemental Pop. Where would I put that? This is meant to be Elemental Pop. I'll put it... It's very, very similar to Secret Source, so I'll put it here. Because it does give you... It does help you in the early games of Cold War. Like, if you've just turned on the power and you haven't turned on Pack-A-Punch yet, it is useful because you can buy it and whatever your weapon has on it, it gives you a double pack effect briefly here and there sometimes. So for that reason, it is useful, but it's not a necessity. It's not a crutch perk, so I guess it has its pro... Actually, yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. There, then. That's fair. I like that spot. Cool. Awesome. And uh, there we go. That's it. The other two perks at the bottom is literally just the exact same perks. Deadshot is literally the same in Black Ops 4 as it is in every other game besides Cold War. And then uh, Electric Burst is literally a carbon copy of Electric Cherry. So there you go. Those are my perks ranked of Call of Duty Zombies. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>